Each end of an association is called a role of the association. Roles can optionally have a name, multiplicity expression, and navigability arrow. Multiplicity defines how many instances of one class can be associated with instances of another class. For example, a single instance of a store can be associated with many items, namely, zero or more, as being indicated by asterisk. The multiplicity value communicates how many instances can be legally associated with another value, at any given particular moment, rather than over a span of time. The multiplicity communicates business domain constraint. Eventually, this constraint will be reflected in the software system. It is practical to provide associations with names based on a type name, verb phrase, or type name format. In many cases the verb phrase creates sequence, which is readable and meaningful in the modeled context. Association names should start with a capital letter, since an association represents a classifier of links between the class instances. In the unified modeling language classifiers should start with a capital letter. We can now add associations to our retail store domain model. Now this partial domain model shows a set of conceptual classes and associations. Primarily, the associations have been derived from the common categories of finding associations. For example, the sale is entered by the cashier. Register is used by the cashier. Register is assigned to the particular cashier by a manager. Sale is initiated by customer. The store stocks items in its inventory. Sales line item records the sale of a single item within the sale. In terms of associations, a good model is constructed somewhere in between the two alternatives, as follows. A mini mold, just need to know model. And another model that illustrates every conceivable relationship between the concepts involved. We emphasize need to know associations, but add choice comprehension only associations to enrich critical understanding of the business domain.